hello everyone welcome back to crown geek in this video i will be explaining that how to fix no internet secured in windows 11 pc and laptop i will be sharing few effective solution and this will be applicable for you both your wi-fi and for your ethernet connection the first thing that i would recommend you that please make sure that none of the proxy server has been enabled so click on your windows search type inetcpl.cpl .cpl. hit enter the internet properties will be up now here from the top menu option click on connections then click on lan settings and here just make sure under proxy server this option use a proxy server for your lan this option has been unchecked if it's been checked then you need to uncheck then click on apply and then you have to click on ok once done next you need to click on your windows search type ncpa.cpl hit enter and now here you will see all kind of your network connection like your ethernet your wi-fi so whichever you are using right click on it then click on properties the properties box will be up now here you have to look for internet protocol version 6 once you get it you just need to uncheck this option and then you have to click on ok again right click on the network adapter choose properties and this time you go with the internet protocol version 4 double click on it and now here just make sure that both these options are being checked to obtain an ip address automatically and obtain dns server address automatically then you need to click on ok and then click on ok now finally make a right click on it choose disable again wait for a few seconds make a right click on it and choose enable all right so these are the basic settings that you need to apply and once done you can close it next click on your windows search type reset then click on network reset and here you have to click on reset now once it's been reset if you're connected with the wi-fi then you will have to enter the password again so make sure that you remember the password of your wi-fi then click on reset now then you have to restart your pc or laptop again try to connect to your network with your password and i'm pretty sure that your problem will be fixed and if this works for you guys you can support me by clicking on the subscribe button like the video for any question let me know in the comment section till then take care bye bye